We're obsessed with the Connie Fife Show. It's about a lifestyle shift to move up or out. Hey, you want your jam? What's the one thing that really drives you? What makes you unstoppable? It's about opening a new door to live your dream. People give up way too early on their dreams. It's about enjoying the journey. It's about keeping it real. Damn, now the interviewee is interviewing the interviewer. I like this. It's all about you. I knew there was something else I wanted to do. Stop taking shit so seriously. Y'all can do this. Take an outrageous look at life and laugh. This is the Connie Fife Show. We love your voice. We love your jam. You need to be on radio. And now your host, Connie Fife. Hey everyone, it's Connie Fife. You're on Stoppable Diva and you're here listening to the Connie Fife Show. And every week we continue to bring you some phenomenal guests, the ones that we call the crazy ones, because they're just doing some things that are, you know, change, changing it up. You know, I like to talk about the other side of the coin and that's what these people are doing. They're talking and providing services and tools from from ways and thoughts and things that we may not have thought about or considered. Now, I'm sure you have gone on a diet. And I mean, most of us have, you know, beginning of the year, we all have those New Year's resolutions, and then they kind of wilter off and that doesn't happen. Or you, you know, you're that woman who goes through menopause, and I've been there. And you start noticing, you know, I have that weight gain and I don't know how to get it off. And, and what do I do? And, you know, you talk to the doctors and they just say, exercise more, or, you know, watch your food intake. Well, our guest today has revolutionized that. She has found that secret sauce on how we can get off those few extra pounds, ladies. So if you're going through menopause, no worries, because we have Dr. Mary Claire Haver, who's going to share her secrets on how we can get rid of all the little extra menopause pounds. But not only that, live healthier and be healthier and be happier. So Mary Claire, welcome. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful. So, and you know, when we we, we know each other, you know, a little while now. And when we first met, you had talked about that. And you had talked about how you actually went through that menopause phase yourself and then realized as a physician, well, wait a minute, um, am I really giving that right, right advice to, um, to my patients? So first of all, um, everyone, you really do need to know, and I should have uh, mentioned this, that Mary Claire is an OBGYN. She's an entrepreneur. She's a mom herself. And she, this, what she's discovered and what she has created is just phenomenal. So you want to, you want to listen up. So Mar Mary Claire, so, I mean, going through and watching you probably over a year now and all that you've been putting out about the Galveston diet, and I just see you every time and you're just so spunky and perky and your mindset is just, just phenomenal. And the diet industry is so competitive. How are you maintaining this, especially now that we've gone through that year of COVID? I, um, you know, when we were, we, we launched as a business in 2018. Okay. And in August, and I want to say from the end of August to the end of December, you know, we had just a, a few hundred people join the program. And I was just over the moon excited, like, oh my goodness, this is going to be my little baby project. And we're just going to watch it grow. And I'm still going to practice medicine and, and, you know, do this on the side. And then in 2019, we grew exponentially and became very close that year in, in, sales to hitting seven figures. Um, wow. And during that year, it was all moving so quickly, moving so fast. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I, I, I grew up, my parents are entrepreneurs, so I do have that seed planted. Uh, they had their own businesses my whole life. So I, I've watched my mom and dad do this. Um, but, you know, I, I had a mortgage to pay. I had obligations to the hospital. I had, mm -hmm. you know, two kids still to raise. My husband was working. And so all of a sudden I was kind of working two full-time jobs. <laughs> 
and saying, what am I doing? (laughs) But really, we initially grew the Galveston diet by word of mouth and on Facebook. You know, me just getting on Facebook, talking about it, talking about how I developed it, what made us different, um, you know, our success stories from our students in the program, you know, what the program was all about. And then I just do, you know, what, what drives me and what I'm passionate about, I'm constantly researching. I love research. Mm. And the program I launched in 2018 is actually looking very different than the program it is today because I keep reading, I keep researching, I keep reading, oh, okay. coming out. And so one of the beauties of our program is it's all online and mm-hmm. it's not a book that you buy it is an online program with videos which we update you know yearly basically with written material with graphics which we constantly update as we get new information and tweak the program a little bit I mean the roots are the same but we really tweak it as we get feedback and learn more things so what do you what do you what do you think the success of the program was why did it take off so quickly and have such I, success honestly I think it's because the middle-aged woman has mm-hmm. been marginalized underutilized, brushed off. And for the first time, I feel like people felt like someone was listening to them that really paid attention and that really looked at their needs, that really understood where they were in their lives besides the horrific weight gain in their midsection that they never had before, but that understood what they're going through as a mother, as a wife, as as a daughter, you know, trying to juggle all these roles that we have and stay healthy. And so, so much of what I talk about is like how to balance all of these things. Mm. You know, when we get so stressed from all of these um, roles that we take on, right? That, that what that does, and I part of the program is talking about what it does to your hormones. I mean, we do talk about estrogen, progesterone, and things that happen in menopause. We also talk about cortisol and insulin, which are the hormones that control where and how you store fat. We talk about leptin and ghrelin, which are the hormones that control whether you're hungry or you're full. Mm-hmm. And so, and how nutritionally we can tweak things so that those hormones all start working for us instead of against us. And I just wow. don't think that language has been used in the past, or at least not talking to women as mothers, as wives, as entrepreneurs, as teachers, as, you know, whatever roles we have. I just feel like I, I come to them in a place that they can understand. Well, I mean, I think you're, I mean, you're absolutely right there is be, is because, we play so many roles. I, you know, I'm a business owner, you know, I'm a mom, I'm an entrepreneur. Um, like you said, you know, we have kids and you, I know you were putting your kids through college and, you know, our husbands and there is so much on our plate to where it's, I don't have time to sit. I don't have time to worry about why is this happening to my body, but, like, but to have somebody like you put it out there very, very clear from the research that you have done. It, it's, it's easy to see why this program is on fire and it's just taken off. And so, so many people are interested. And I know you also provide some tips on, on some cooking and some different things in there as well. Right. And I've seen you do that with your daughters. Right. I, I try to do mix it up, you know, mm-hmm. do some cooking videos or meal prep ideas or just, you know, to keep, things easy and accessible because I understand how busy everyone is. And, you know, I'm an educator at heart. I, people say, what would you do if you wouldn't have been a doctor? I probably would have been some kind of a teacher, educator, (laughs) PhD, whatever. So my gift is to take something kind of complicated and break it down into layman's terms. And that's Mm. basically what I do all day on social media is take these complicated medical articles and try to explain, this is why this is happening to you. And if you do this, we can start turning the tide back to where you want to be health wise. So I'm going to just just um, flip it here a minute. So you've really found the secret sauce on how to use social media to to your advantage, because we we always have entrepreneurs asking that question that we work with. You know, how do I use social media? What should I do? And you know, how do we make all this work? But you have definitely cracked that code, and you, you're making that work. I, I wish I could say I had this Machiavellian plan and that from day one, I had this blueprint of what I was going to do. I have failed and failed and failed and lost followers and had people cut me off and that me, but I never quit. And I kept tailoring the message till it was, I never change what needs to be said, but I might change how I say it so that the listener uh-huh. can understand and it makes sense to them. And then they share it and So I started with Facebook 
um, which is kind of where I lived at the time. And I knew that, I knew my avatar. I've, I know a middle-aged woman better than most because that's been my bread and butter and my job for 25 years. I know what they, you know, I've talked to them about medical things, mm -hmm. talked to them about their lives. I've been their friends. I am one. And so one, I think if you want to make it on social media, you need to know your audience. You need to know your audience inside and out. Back Great advice. You need to understand what they want and have a focus group, you know, get, you know, if you're trying to, if you're trying to bring value to someone's life and you gather some of those type of people at your house and test it. I tested so many ideas with my girlfriends who were all going through the same thing midlife with me and no, 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 don't no, That doesn't make sense. Okay. Yes. I like this. Um, maybe people want to hear about this. Well, this might work. So through those interactions, I would turn those into Facebook lives. And Ooh. then if the live got a lot of views and was shared, then I would turn that actually into a Facebook ad. And so, and then share it. It's almost like you were doing reality TV. You know, yeah. maybe I just, it really was snippets of my life. I mean, I might be between, you know, on a break at work and I'm in scrubs. I'm literally at the hospital, you know, hiding in a closet, talking about inflammation and menopause, <laughs> you know, um, because I read an article that set me on fire that day. The other thing is right. when I go to speak, it's usually spontaneous. I don't, a lot of people talk about making content calendars and I, I get that, but I'm better when I'm passionate and I'm better on the fly. And so I would basically read something, see something, or right. you know, a student would comment something and it would just stir something in me. And I'm like, the world needs to hear this. Well, and I've seen you, and I've seen you do that. I don't know if I've seen the one in the closet, but I've seen you do that where you're, you're in your scrubs and, and I, and I'm sitting there and I'm looking, I'm like, I wonder if she just delivered a baby. Of course, you know, as moms, we want to know that, but I've seen you in your scrubs and just get down you know, and you're looking, you know, at, at your screen, I'm sure you're probably simple, you know, something as simple as your iPhone. And you were just sharing, sharing a passionate, a passionate moment. And you do that so, so well. And I love how you said, there is no social calendar, right? Because we, we talk about that having a social calendar. But just like you, I like getting up and it's like, oh, I got a thought. And, you know, let's do this, let's do this. And, and, you know, and I'll share it with the team and say, you know, let's make this, you know, our theme for today. And like today I did that and our tools, um, our tools and tips where if you don't know where to go, where your customers are, go look at your competition because they're finding them. <laughs> but you do that so, so well, so well. So, I mean, where, where do you see, see this going and how, how do you see it growing and expanding? As a business? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, we are at 54 plus thousand students enrolled in the program. And wow, amazing. Is by the end of the year, our like big pie in the sky goal is to get to 90,000 students total enrolled. Wow. And we're actually very much on the trajectory to be able to do to, that. To get there. Get yeah. there. So and you're still practicing medicine. I very part time actually worked mm -hmm. a 20 part shift. I got off this morning. Okay. <laughs> um, but I do that. I don't do that a lot. You know, I probably okay. work four shifts a month. It's enough to keep up my license, to scratch that itch, to go deliver those babies and to keep yeah. my skills set up because I'm, I'm a hustler, you know? Yes. And if, if the Galveston diet goes away tomorrow, I'm still a doctor and I could still support my family. I can just pick mm. up more shifts, you know? So it's kind of wonderful that I was able to find a position, which is not everywhere in the country offers. I work in a big metropolitan area of Houston where now my pay is much, much less than I made traditionally. Right. Um, but it's worth the trade because the Galveston diet is m much more than replacing my salary. And it sounds like, and it's very fulfilling for you as well. Yes. Oh my gosh. I cannot, I wake up in the morning and I look outside. I live um, on, on what we call a bayou here in Galveston on the water. And, uh, and I look outside and I have my coffee and I just say, I can't believe I can just sit in bed and drink my Let's coffee. Do this. I, I love it. I love it. Tuesday, where I used to have to be up at 530, get to the hospital, start, you know, and that I, and I'm still doing good in the world. I'm still helping women. I'm just helping yes. them in a different way. And right, in a different way. So. And you're providing your gifts to them. So we need to take a really quick break. And when we come back, I'm going to put you in the hot seat. Yeah. Okay. So everyone hang in there. Oh,
The Connie Five Show is heard everywhere. You can find The Connie Five Show on most of your favorite networks. It's time to now recognize and thank our major networks for all of their support. In the house, we have Conscious Business Radio, C-Suite Radio, Transformation Radio, iHeart Radio. We are also heard on Google Play, Apple Radio, Stitcher, and so many more that I just can't keep up with them all. I'm Connie Pipe, your unstoppable diva. We'll learn more about our gym and how we can work together at my fancy swanky website, ConnieFifeShow.com. I'll see you over there. Until then, like, 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 share, share, share. Now back to the show. And we're back and we're speaking with Dr. Mary Claire Haver about the Galveston diet. And if you're not familiar with it, just go online, check it out. Uh, Just Google Galveston diet and you're going to find a lot more information about it. And if you're a middle-aged woman and going through menopause or concerned what's going to happen when you go through menopause, you want to check this out. Uh, A lot of good information there. So Mary Claire, for our hot seat Uh, We always start with by asking if you could complete the sentence, I am unstoppable because. Oh, man, I am unstoppable because I know this is what I'm meant to be doing without a doubt in my mind. This gives me chills to even say it out loud. I have I have chills just listening to that. This is where I'm meant to be. It was a huge leap of faith for me to walk away from the security of an OBGYN job and the um, you know, I didn't grow up in an academically uh, forward family. Mm-hmm. I have, my siblings are brilliant. Um, my sister's a nurse. I mean, but like, you know, I didn't grow up with people who went to medical school or, you know, and so I've always enjoyed the prestige of right. my ID. And so I raised a lot of eyebrows. <laughs> um, I bet. They're like, you well, went to school for and you're doing what? You know, I'm I was successful. I had a huge practice. I was popular. Everyone loved me. I mean, I could go to the kids' Christmas pageant and count the babies on the altar from the Christmas show of how many I delivered. <laughs> you know, like everywhere I went, it's a small town. You know, my baby, my baby, my baby, my baby. Right. And, um, and women are like, oh, she saw my, you know what? You, yeah. you know, <laughs> double-edged sword there. But, um, but, I, live, I live next to my OBGYN previously. <laughs> I, yeah. And, you know, especially those days after I had an appointment, you know, because we'd sit at night and have our glasses of wine around around the pool. And I'd be like, hmm, I, need, <laughs> I know what he saw today. <laughs> and so, you know, we try, we, we didn't discuss it outside of the office. So, uh, so, so yeah. to walk away from that to pursue no. something that was not a sure thing. But I knew it was going to be a sure thing. I knew that there was a gap that I could fill. I knew that after 20 years of clinical practice, that women were being, they were leaving their doctor's offices frustrated, Yes, feeling feeling underserved, feeling maybe that they were a little bit crazy. And I don't want to throw the physicians under the bus. I was one of them. I told them the same things. I told them work out more, eat less. And I didn't understand that that stops working, especially when the inflammation picture, you know, when the inflammation portion comes into the picture. Right, right. So, you know, I knew that this would work. I just had to figure out the business end of it, which is more fair. (laughs) And you've done, and you've done fabulously with that as well. So throughout, throughout, I mean, you know, we're, I mean, we're still going through the COVID, um, you know, for many of us, it'll be with us, you know, for the rest of our life. And, but what did you learn through COVID as, as a doctor, as a physician, um, at, through your business, what did you learn through COVID that you didn't know before? Gosh, you know, we were kind of humming along and things were getting crazy, crazy, crazy with sales and students. And um, I had stepped away from the big position of ob and I had taken the part-time job, which I'm still doing. And so when COVID hit, our sales plummeted. Yeah. And I think everybody in the world did. Right. You know, mm-hmm. all went to, you know, and, um, and I thought, well, I can always pick up more shifts if I need to, you know, make up income. Yeah. I can do that. But it really gave me a chance to take a deep breath, yes. look at the business model and start you know, figuring out how I was going to diversify. Because at the time, I was completely dependent on Facebook to, to drive the business. Right. So that gave me time to, to take a few courses online, 
to look at some other, not competition, but just, you know, get some advice from other gurus on, um, not in the, not in the nutrition space, but more in the online business space. Right. Cause Facebook got very crowded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody's on Facebook and there are so many offerings out there now on Facebook. And even with our, our talent agency, we had more and more and more individuals contacting us and saying, how do I do this? How do I get into this industry? How do I get started? So, so yeah, so you were able then through that to shift onto some of the other platforms as well. We also took that time to kind of look at the business model and, mm-hmm. um, uh, Neil Patel was someone who was recommended. So I joined kind of his guru group for a couple months and and took notes and read all the blogs and everything. And so we had, you know, from a business standpoint, we had the Galveston Diet Signature Program. And then we had some kind of add-ons if you wanted um, the program guide and the workout program and the recipe book, you know, we had all these little things that you could a la carte. Well, his advice it was like, why don't you bundle these things and do like a basic a kind of middle of the road and then a platinum program, um, which was our coaching group. So we developed the coaching groups through COVID, okay. um, just took our time to add value, to talk to the, to talk to our students. What do you want? What do you need? What can enhance this for you? Okay. And they kind of, you know, a directed coaching group. And, and so it allowed me to take the time to develop a coaching curriculum because I have to multiply myself. You're right. <laughs> do everything, you know? So it really was such a, you know, in the, you have hindsight, of course, but COVID was such a blessing because we bounced back and then some, and we have a better product. We have a better back office. You know, I was able to hire the right people to keep up with the growth. And we've just been since the, you know, really since December, it's been explosive. Yeah, we did. We did the same thing. We, we took that time, stepped back, looked at the business, looked at the business model, and again, we came back and just like you, we've just been explosive with everything that we're, that we're doing. It's, it's, it's really, it's, and, and sometimes I, I, in a sense, I feel guilty, like COVID was good for us, but for the business, it actually was. And I know with a lot of people that they, they really struggled or, you know, they stuck their head in the sand and said, I'm going to wait and see what happens. Mm-hmm. And now their clients, <laughs> because I'm trying, you know, working with them to try to bring them forward so they can catch up. Um, right. So, so I love what you're doing. Definitely, definitely love what you're doing. So, where do you see yourself going next? You know, um, so our next kind of big project is to div- more development of what we of our coaching program. We're coming up. You know, I have certified coaches that I personally train, and they're basically women who fell in love with the program stood there and waved at me and screamed and said, I want to do more. What can I do to help? I love this. I love this. Right. And we bring them in. Not everyone worked out, but we have a core mm-hmm. group of about five women who are okay. die hard and, and created their own opportunities. And now they're employees and they're doing well and they're running these coaching groups. We really want to expand that program. Okay. So that, um, uh, we, we train kind of mini coaches that they come in and they can bring friends and family into the group with them. Not, you know, I've, I've actually been in the MLM world before and was very successful, but that's not really what I want, where I want to go with this. Okay. Um, but I want to just grow by, more by word of mouth and, and give people who want to teach friends and family how to do Galveston diet and mm, love it to have, you know, financially reward them for doing that. Right, right, absolutely. Oh, I love it. I, de- I I love what you're doing. Um, so, I, I I guess the big the big question is, you know, how can we let people know where to find you so they can learn more about the diet? I know we mentioned social media. Is there any place else more specific, like your website or, or right? Something? So GalvestonDiet.com. Okay, is our website. So that's a great place to start. You can just Google Galveston Diet. You can Google Mary Claire Haver, but also my medical appointment at the hospital will pop up there. Don't try to make an appointment. <laughs> and um, you can, um, we are on YouTube at the Galveston Diet. We're on Facebook okay. at the Galveston Diet. We are on Instagram at the Galveston Diet. And our biggest social media platform, which absolutely blows my mind because I started it six months ago and we have almost, we have 800,000 followers. Wow, it's, it's amazing. Cool. It's TikTok. On TikTok. <laughs> my children badgered me and bullied me into getting on TikTok. And I refused um, because it was for young, you know. Yeah, right. On TikTok, they said, Mom, I'm telling you, just try it. And I did. And it's exploded. And I can, it's really forced me in 60 seconds to get valuable tidbits of information out right. there. 
And uh, turns out I'm kind of good at it and people like to use it. So. <laughs> I, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. So do you do some of those craziness that some people do on there? Dances. I'm not, you know, I love to dance, but I just didn't start doing that. I might like, I might sway to a song. I'll use music and I'll, okay. I'll do a lot of graphics because I have hearing impaired, you know, students yeah. who say, Hey, you know, make sure you put text so that those of us, or if we're at work and we can't have the music on, we can see what you're saying. So right gotten good about captions and and things but i'm okay. i'm not doing any of the, <laughs> <laughs> the dances but you might see me kind of you know just a little moving <laughs> well i'm pointing out you know facts about inflammation so right right but that that's fantastic that, that that's i i am so proud that i even know you and <laughs> you know we talked when i mean you had already started but you know long before covid and then now, you know, going through this and seeing where you're at today, it's 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 phenomenal. It's 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 incredible. It really, really is. So, Mary, Mary Claire, um, that is all I have for today. Do you have any parting words just to let our ladies know? Um, give them a little tip or a little nugget that they can work on today. So, you know, if you've got something that you're passionate about, and you know it's going to add value to people's lives don't give up, you know, be here in a year, keep going. I failed so many times in this business. So I did an ebook, which was a disaster, you know, before we <laughs> our online course, there are so many ways to get your message out there. There yeah. are so many ways, just keep trying. And, yeah. if, you know, if it's meant to be, it will happen. Right. Find out what works for your people. And that, and that is so important. That's definitely so, so important. Well, Mary Claire, I want to thank you for being here and you are always, always invited back again. Thanks everybody. Well, thanks everybody for being here. I am Connie Fife, and you're listening to the Connie Fife show and take this week and be kind to each other. Be kind to yourself because we are unstoppable together. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey y'all, it's Connie Fife. Thank you for listening to the Connie Five Show. Check back often. You don't want to miss any of the good stuff. If you like what you hear and would like to be a guest on the show, head over to the ConnieFiveShow.com to apply. While you're there, check out our amazing advertising opportunities that will put you right in front of your perfect client. I will see you over there. Do yourself a favor this week, activate your power, and be unstoppable together.